Now we're going to take a look at the component parts that are at the bottom of the door. The two component parts in this slide are the bottom arm and the bottom pivot bearing located down here. Again, what you see just flashed up was the torsion bar closer spring located up inside the shaft, and we'll get to that in the next slide. But right now, the bottom arm is this part right here. What you're going to see is that it's thicker because, again, it's carrying the weight of the door. It has, this has a small portion of the shaft assembly that runs the full length from top to bottom, connects to the top arm. It's welded to the, uh, to the top and bottom arms. And what you want to look for is good, true penetration welding. That's these little bronze discs. That's actually the four welds that hold the shaft to the top and bottom arms. And it's that heavy penetration weld that gives it its strength. You don't want those just sort of wedged in place. Also what you're going to notice is different from the top is in the bottom arm there's actually a plastic self-lubricating bearing. Okay? That's because down in this location the bottom of the door is very susceptible to contaminants being washed into this bottom bearing. In other words, salt from salt air uh, in an ocean environment, uh, snow melt, uh, salt used for that, uh, cleaning solutions, anything that might be corrosive will find its way into this bottom bearing over time. And if it was a steel bearing, it would actually rust. So a plastic self-lubricating bearing is actually the correct bearing for this application. Now the bottom pivot, what you'll see here, again, is this is the part. It has this one inch stainless steel pin that's already pressed in place. That's because when you install the door, this pin goes into the bottom arm like that and engages in that fashion. The next slide we're going to look at, we're going to go into the actual torsion bar closer spring. Now this is just a small representation of the real spring. The real spring is actually a six foot long torsion bar spring. Again, it's, a, it's an actual spring, torsion bar spring, not a, instead of an old-fashioned coil spring. reason for a torsion bar is it's much more durable. It doesn't say, take a set and break like an old coil spring would. So this is an advancement over that. Um, what you're going to see is that when you put these parts together, this is being the bottom arm and the part of the shaft assembly, it fits up inside here like this, and it dovetails with the floor box that we're going to see in the next slide. Now this, that spring will allow you to, to accommodate large heavy doors uh, as opposed to a spring that's built inside a closer. Because this spring is separate from the closer spring, from what could be in a closer, it gives you a lot more adjustability and can handle a larger, heavier door. And now we've got the floor box, and this is it. It's basically a half inch thick seven inches from interior to exterior, about three and five-eighths wide. And that's, that's what it is. It sits on top of the floor. It's not a cement case going down into the floor with a balanced door system. Now, this torsion bar spring assembly and arm assembly sits onto the floor box, base plate, and therefore all the weight of the door is transferred down to this floor box. Now, if we turn it around, this is the, actually the interior side. The reason I'm showing you that is that's how you impart the spring tension. You've got to wind this spring somehow to give it some, to, to close the door. In the real assembly, this goes up to the top, six foot, and it's pinned in place right through the shaft. So it's fixed at the top. Now at the bottom, it's allowed to move, and you adjust it by moving, putting a wrench in, a half inch wrench in, and you turn this gear towards the jam, and every time you turn it, this would torque that slightly, and that's what gives it the closing force to close the door. Now, once this floor box and those gears do move when you initially put that spring tension on the door, but once you do that, these gears don't move anymore after that. So therefore, any dirt or contamination that gets into this floor box will not adversely affect the operation of the door. Because during normal operation, <clears throat> other than when you hang the door, these gears do not move. They stay fixed and stationary. What does move is this actually rides on this bearing. And the arm rotates back and forth on that bearing, not on the gears down in the floor box. And we'll see that in the next slide. 
The next slide is just going to take the bottom parts and try to bring those together for you. We're looking at the bottom portion of the door, frame kind of shown dotted, door over here. This is the bottom arm. This would be a threshold material about a half inch high, dovetailing with that half inch high floor box. Again, not, not penetrating the floor. You've got that bottom arm here with the uh, torsion bar spring assembly up inside it, pinned at the top to keep it from rotating, and then you torque it when you put the adjusting gear in to put the spring tension on the door. And again, this is that bearing where this arm rides on that bearing up inside the arm, out of the elements. So in other words, it doesn't get impacted by uh, dirt and corrosion. And again, these gears down here, once the door is adjusted, they stay fixed and in place. Now we're going to look at one other little component part of the balance door that's kind of sometimes overlooked. It's the semi-automatic hold open device. You need some way to keep the door and hold open, hopefully without a wood block or something, uh, a brick. So what this is, it's a spring-loaded device that's located up inside the bottom rail of the, of the door. It has a foot pin that projects out of the door slightly so that when you bring the door over in the 90 degree open position, there's a hole in the threshold over here out of the walking path so that, when, so that hole will never be tripped over. You put the door in 90 degree position. You, on the inside of the bottom rail, you depress this pin. And what you're going to see is it's got sort of a taper to it. It's tapered. So it hooks over the hole and engages in that hole. When you want to release it, it's spring-loaded. You just push on the door and it'll pop back up out of the way and then the door is out of hold open. So it's a very convenient way, very unobtrusive way to put a door in and out of hold open. 